And this is what Hannah's doing. Her soul magnifies the Lord. She has been blessed of God. We've talked so often about how the name is the lesson, and let's see here that Hannah, her name means grace. And this story is about God's grace, how God gives us grace and how we can return grace. And I look at this prayer of hers, and it's such an expression of the grace of God, of his power and might and goodness, that he is full of grace and truth. So when we hear the Hannah story, we can think about how God gives us grace. He hears us in our distress. And specifically for the Old Testament story, it's God's grace to raise up a prophet named Samuel who will help the Israelites to receive a king to represent God. In fact, Samuel's name, which we're going to get to in a minute, is similar to the word Ishmael. It really means heard of God. And if you note here, Hannah went to the temple to pray, seeking God's grace, asking for a son, and God heard. And so she now gracefully lends or returns the son Samuel to God, and the name of this man is Heard of God. He gives, is given this name because it symbolizes that God was graceful to Hannah and heard her prayer. Such a great message that the entire book of Samuel is about how God hears and answers our prayers.